All right, next we're going All right, next up we're going to be looking at a challenge and a real-world connection relating to writing a function rule. So in our earlier video I gave you uh, um, some x and y values, some numbers, and we're trying to find a rule. Now I'm going to give you a scenario, and in particular the scenario is asking for finding an equation for something in terms of something else. So you'll see this in terms of both, and in both examples here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the, let's do the one on the left first. A box has a rectangular base whose length is double its width and a height that's four centimeters longer than its width. So make a function for the volume of the box in terms of its width. So this is going to tell us what we want our main variable to be. We want everything to be in terms of width and hopefully we'll be able, we'll be able to kind of get rid of the length and the height terms. I think I need to draw a picture here first. So let's see if I can draw a 3D box real quick. Okay, and let's have this to try to get this in perspective, have that be the bottom of the box, okay? And so we have a length that's double its width. So let's call this the width and let's call this but the length, but it's going to be double the width, okay? And then we have a height that's four centimeters longer than the width. So this height right here is w plus four. Okay, so it looks like we have enough information to go ahead and, and write our equation. Volume, we hopefully remember, is length times width times height. But now we're going to plug in some other values here. So we have our height here that we can plug in there. And we have our length here that we can plug in there. Okay, so we can just rewrite the equation. Volume is 2w for length times w times w plus 4. And we need to pop that guy into parentheses so that we do the w plus 4 before we do any of the multiplication. We weren't specifically asked how far we needed to simplify, but you can call this 2w squared times w plus four. That would be a valid answer. You could also distribute as well. And we would distribute twice into there, 2w cubed plus 8w squared. And here's actually a reason why this might be useful in the real world. Say you had some boxes that were that followed these rules in terms of length is double the height or length is double the width and height is width plus four, but you had a whole lot of varying sizes. Okay, even though they all followed those rules, the initial width could be of many varying sizes. And all you need to do is just plug in your your width and you would be able to get your volume. I'm going to copy this here. I can over into here and because it looks like we have the same setup here a box has a rectangular base whose length is double its width and a height that is four centimeters longer than its width okay so let's find a rule for surface area so surface area is really just a way of adding up the areas of each of the six faces so an easy way to do that is we have two width times lengths plus two width times heights, plus two, what don't I have yet, length times heights. And we just need to um, fill all that in, okay? So we can color coordinate a, bit, a little bit. Here's a length in red, and here is a height in orange, and widths will stay as widths. So surface area is going to be two widths times two w plus two widths times w plus four plus two of our lengths which is two w's times the height which is w plus four okay so we got the equation all written out we can certainly do a lot of simplifying right here though so our surface area is going to be four w squared plus 2w squared plus 8w 
plus, I'm gonna do this in a couple of steps, four W times W plus four, okay? So let's do another round of simplifying, four W squared plus two W squared plus an eight W plus four W squared plus a 16 W. It looks like we have some like terms right now. We have some W squareds and then we also have some plain old W's. So let's group those guys together. We have a total of, it looks like 10 W squareds and 24 W's. And that's gonna wrap up that one. We have a final simplified equation for the surface area of a box of any width, as long as it conforms to those given guidelines. That's a good place to stop right there. <laughs>